Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're working on a little different problem than we normally work on. What we're doing is we're extending a drain field, a leach bed. This is from a washer inside the room here. And basically that was added to their house and there was no way for them to put that onto their sewer because it was uphill. What they've done is they've brought out a two inch pipe that runs down and right here is what we call a gravelous drain field. Basically, this, uh, these chambers is kind of like this culvert pipe, only a lot larger. And it holds the same amount of water, volume of water that gravel would. But there's a chamber down here, it's about six feet long. And as water comes out from the washer, it comes into that chamber. And of course, it's supposed to leach down into the soil. And of course, that's failed. It's been in here a couple of years. And you can see, And you can see the water down here. Let me just pull out a shovel. You see all that water? If you could smell this, you would say, oh my gosh, that is a horrible smell because that's phosphate. That's what comes from the soap. Basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend this, this drain field out just 10 more feet. We're gonna use the Easy Flow drain. This is styrofoam peanuts surrounded by excuse me, styrofoam peanuts that encase a four inch perforated pipe. And as water floods from this part of the drain field, it's gonna enter our new system and leach out into that area over there. But the real problem is what's been happening inside. Because it's phosphates and the smell is tremendous, what the original plumbers had done was they put a small revent here and of course, when that system fails, that smell, that odor just comes up and comes right out through and into the entire house. So we're gonna extend this up, go through that block wall outside and, and put our vent up to the roof where it belongs. So using a two inch hole saw, I went ahead and cut through the sheetrock and you can see the hole right there. That's where we're gonna go ahead and start the hammer drill. And usually we go from the outside in, but we're gonna go from the inside out. So there's our hole right through the block and it comes outside. Let's go outside and take a look. Not bad. This is why we normally come from the outside in. You can see it kind of cracks off a little bit, but we'll go ahead and put some mortar up there. The reason that we had to come from the inside out is because of the sheetrock and that would have made a real mess inside. So rather just put a little bit of concrete out here. Okay, so now we're gonna start to replumb this vent. Basically, I'm gonna take a piece of inch and a half pipe. I already cut it off, just left it long. Slide that through. And then we'll go inside, we'll plumb to this point. From here, we'll put a 90 on it. We'll go up and we'll plumb it right up underneath that soffit. Okay, so we've cut off the old two inch section because we're gonna run an inch and a half Basically, we're gonna plumb it up and go out through that wall. Okay, so we've plumbed through the wall, glued this riser. Remember, this is a vent. So now we're gonna go ahead and use our no hub and secure it. Just as tight as that drill can make it. And we're all set inside. We'll go ahead and re-secure this to the wall. Okay, so we've got it plumbed up, comes out the wall, vent comes up, secured it. So the, the revent is all done. We've basically brought that air that's trying to come inside, the stinky phosphate smell. It's all coming up and now venting out. So out here, you can see how deep we're getting. We're down there knee deep or so. This has to run downhill. Remember when I showed you over here where the chamber is? Yeah, he's plenty deep enough right there. That's plenty deep enough. You can see that water, that's right at the bottom, well, maybe about halfway up the chamber. So 
we're going to drill a hole, a four inch hole into the chamber, let that water come out and go through this easy flow or quick and easy, easy drain, I guess it's called easy drain. And this is just four inch pipe surrounded by styrofoam peanuts. And basically we're giving that water a place to go. But again, remember that the problem was the smell. When your drain field or leach bed goes bad, the odor is going to start coming up through the ground. And this water is actually moved under the slab of the home. And that's just penetrating through that concrete. And eventually you get that sulfur smell, the soap smell. And it's really a stinky smell. And over here we're getting ready to open up the trench from the chamber. And you can see I'm about waist deep here. This should work really well. Basically we're going to put in this easy flow drain. Easy drain. And this acts as the drain fill. We're putting in two of them. So we've got double the capacity. It's going to come down. We'll, once we put it in, once we open it up, that water is going to flood right out here. So it will be a real mess for a minute. But we'll cover that all up. And we're done. So we're just about ready to open it up. And uh, once we do, a lot of water should come out of that chamber. And then we'll drill into the chamber to hook up these pipes. Okay, so we opened it up. Oh, she blows! And you can see that water just pouring down through that. That chamber is so full, that water just could not escape out of that, that chamber. So. You do the chambers work well it lasted two years and you can see that water it did not go down into the ground like they said it would for a long long time i really think that gravel works a lot better styrofoam peanuts you know that's the same as gravel so it should work really good okay so here's the side of the chamber and the bottom of it is just right down here our pipes go underneath the chamber into the chamber and you can see this what they've got how it works how the chamber works is it has little slits and vents in there so it's been slotted and what's happened of course is that the water is not escaping out of the chamber anymore because the soil even though you can't see it the soil is saturated the soil is saturated with phosphates and it just can't really penetrate so we've added more drain field by adding 20 feet doubled it of our easy flow drain easy drain NDS product and now when she runs her washer more capacity and that water should dissipate fairly quickly to help understand how a drain field works you can see the water down here but you can see when we dumped out when we opened up from the chamber there was the water level just a couple of minutes ago and so the water is dropping receding so quickly as it comes out what it does this works the opposite of a french drain remember a french drain collects the water this is going to discharge the water the water is going to come out through the slots of the pipe through the gravel through the per peanuts the perforated stuff here out through the fabric into the ground and that allows it to just perk you know to get soaked up by the soil we put a lot of capacity in here you know we've got two big drains running through here just to add to the chamber that's already been here okay so that water's just about gone we're going to go ahead and start to backfill and cover up the rest of this trench so now we're ready to backfill you can see you just push your soil back in and it's going to be a little mound up here probably about a foot high the whole length of the trench but that will settle as soon as it starts to rain. So remember the real problem here was that the chamber no longer functioned. In other words, water came out from the washer. It filled up the chamber, but it could not leach down through the soil because the soil had become packed with phosphates. Hey, this is Chuck with Apple Drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.